the Forest City Knit Girls. I'm Carrie. I'm June. And I'm Patty. And this is episode number 30. Yay! Awesome! <laughs> and we're outside again for this episode, which is super nice. It's a lovely evening. And um, we're just here to chat with you guys about our knitting and our wool and everything that we've been up to. Yep. We have uh, some affoge to show and our whips. And some other good stuff to talk about. Yeah. Lots of giveaways. Lots to of giveaways. Cover off. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Oh, and I'm just gonna add uh, for those of you who who aren't familiar with the term. So, FO is finished object, <laughs> and uh, WHIP is a work in progress. Yes. So, I'm sure most of you know what those mean, but hey. <laughs> <laughs> um, we'd like to thank everybody for joining us this evening, and. Uh, um, welcome to any new subscribers as well. Um, we're really excited to be podcasting and uh, we hope you enjoy what we have to show. <laughs> so let's talk about knit alongs and do the giveaway draws. For sure. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so should we? So we had a couple of knit alongs that we ended the end of June and we haven't had a chance to draw prizes uh, for the prizes until this evening. So we're going to just jump right into that. Mm -hmm. So the first knit along that we'll talk about is the sweater knit along. Um, we had an amazing amount of participation in that. And um, we've shown on other episodes the prizes. Um, so we'll be giving away um, two skeins for one prize for the FO thread, the finished object thread, we'll be giving away two skeins of beautiful Lebby Anime um, yarn, as well as a pretty yellow Hohe Notions pouch. It's beautiful. Um, and uh, we can thank um, Terry. Terry, right, <laughs> <laughs> for that, for uh, giving that to us. So that was really kind of her. And then also the other prize for the finished object thread is a sweater's worth quantity of Leo and Roxy yarn in their uh, worsted organic yarn. It's amazing, beautiful yarn. Um, you also get uh, the pattern for the super simple summer sweater with it as well. So that's pretty exciting. Yeah, it's really nice. Um, so the winners, uh, for those prizes. So each of these will get one or the other. Um, it, the first winner is, uh, Carrie will post the winner's name up on the screen so yep. we can all see it's Sarah Chan. Congratulations. And yes. she knit the Luminosity so by pretty. Tannis Fiber. That's, That's beautiful. So Good job. And then the second winner is DTROJ, and she knit a beautiful summer sweater. It's just gorgeous. So pretty. Congratulations. So that's amazing. Um, and then in our chatter thread, um, we're also going to give a prize and to the to one winner, and um, we're going to gift you a free sweater pattern of your choice. And the winner for that is, um, it's L-A-M-H-I-T-A. -A. And Carrie will put that up on the screen. And she posted um, a striped sweater she was working on in our chat. So cute. It's really cute. Congrats. Yeah, congrats everyone. <laughs> Super exciting. Um, so, and... Uh, and then also we had our sock knit along in July, or sorry, June, June, June 30th as well. Um, and so we also have two prizes um, for our FO thread that we drew for. Um, the one prize is a sock set, right? It came with minis. Yep. From Timber Yarns, it's called Boss Lady. It's beautiful. And then the other prize is a sock project bag with uh, also sock set 
uh, the project bag is from J. Henry Designs and then the sock set is from Rose Hill Yarns. Um, so the winners are um, Vicki and she knit these socks. I love those. Yes, yeah, too. And it's knit in uh, Ginger Snap and it's called Holly Jolly Misfit. <laughs> so so cute. cute. Congratulations. <clears throat> and then our other finished object winner is Novel Knit Girl. And she knit those, which are really cute as so well. Cute. I love the sock blockers. Yeah. Very cute. And then we are also drew in our chatter thread to give away um, a sock pattern of your choice. So you'll be able to pick that. And the winner from the chatter thread is Shelby from the TWP. And she just posted socks she was working on. Pretty color. Mm -hmm. Very pretty. Yeah. So. Yay, congratulations. That's exciting. Yeah. Everybody yeah. Wants a winner. Thank yeah. you everybody for participating. Mm -hmm. It was so much fun. It was amazing. Mm -hmm. um, and then we have one other um, thread to um, draw from. And we draw, uh, every month we draw from our pet uh, photo and stories thread and we gift the winner a pattern of their choice and the winner this time was is a runaway knitter and she posted a cute mm -hmm. photo of her little dog I Ringo is his name mm -hmm. and he's helping to block a, a project such a good helper <laughs> very good helper <laughs> <laughs> so yeah so congrats everyone Congratulations. Yeah, mm. so exciting. And thanks to everyone who donated the prizes too, like. Amazing. So nice. Yeah. Every single prize is gorgeous. Yes. Yeah. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> Just had a you little crash in, gonna happen. in the court. <laughs> <laughs> a little crash over there, yeah. but it's all good. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so congrats to all the winners and I will get in contact with you probably through Ravelry and get all your details so I can send you off your prizes. Sounds good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we still have one more knit along running and that's our shawl knit along and we're running that until the end of August. Um, and so there's, you know, there's quite a few shawls gathering in there as well in the finished object thread and it's so nice to see everybody's work. Yeah. It's awesome. It's a good time of year for shawls, isn't it? It is. Like, yeah. Yeah. I feel like my shawl knitting has picked up a lot lately. You should see my pile knitting. of FOs yes. here. It's all shawls. <laughs> it's all, I think most of them the are shawls. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, um, we have, um, for that um, knit along we have some nice prizes as well um, we already showed um, it's a I think there's three skeins of yarn no two skeins I forget now I can't remember I can't remember <laughs> well we it's have, gonna be nice we have beautiful <laughs> yarn from yes. ginger snap oh, yeah. right. oh right. the green the green two skeins two skeins yeah. yes. a beautiful yarn and the wizard, wizard of, of Oz, Oz and the wizard of Oz bag um, and then we had um, Liz, who has just opened a shop, and she um, is making shawl cuffs and other knitting accessories, as well as masks as well. Um, and her company is called YOLO Leather and Cloth, and she has a website, so you can just Google that. And she's making these gorgeous shawl cuffs. Do you guys have yours? Yeah, I put mine on. Um, they're really, really well made. They're mm -hmm. made from leather and they have a nice little buckle on them. Yeah. Very, Can very nice. Up? I love this color. Yeah, that's pretty. And the branding is so I love it. lovely. Yeah, it's so nice. Mm -hmm. Mine's just a little thinner. Different class as well. Oh, that's pretty. That's Real, does nice. this open? Yeah, you push it in. Oh, push it. Oh, that's really cool. That is cool. I actually really like that you push it in too. Nice. Mm -hmm. Um, but she also sent um, a couple of giveaway prizes and we're going to give them away in our, um, 
our shawl knit along. It's actually a make along, so if you knit or crochet, you can enter your shawl. I'm doing it so over you, Carrie. So this is a shawl cuff as well. That's pretty. Yeah. And then um, a needle holder. So nice. And her work is just beautiful. Yeah. That's really nice. Very nice. So she's just started her business. Um, I will link her website in our show notes so you can easily find her. Um, but she has amazing work. She does amazing work and she is a really, really nice person. <laughs> yeah, it was nice meeting her. Um, we've met her at a yarn festival before and then over knit night too. So yeah. it was nice getting to meet yeah. her. Yeah. 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 So thank you, Liz. Thanks, That's Liz. awesome. Um, so as I was saying, our um, shawl make along will end the last day of August. So you still have lots of time to knit up a shawl. Mm -hmm. uh, we've been working on lots of different shawls and you'll see some of them this evening. Um, yeah, so I feel, I, I agree. It's a great time of year to knit a shawl. It is, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They're quick and they're not as hot in your, while you're knitting on them. For sure, yeah. Yeah, awesome. So we have lots of shawls to show you too that we did that we knit along with you. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. So that's it for our knit alongs. Yep. Um, thank you, everybody, for participating. We love it. Mm -hmm. um, do you want to talk about knit spot right now? Yeah. Okay. I think that's a good idea. Um, so we did have somebody else reach out to us, and she has a company on. Um, on Etsy called Knit Swag and she's a graphic designer and what she does is she incorporates different knit design and stitches onto you know a mug or a phone case. Um, she also offers PDFs where um, instead of using the graph paper to to color out your your design or whatever it's actually looks like little knit stitches so it's very that. It's really cool. It's very, it's a little more true to your actual knitting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but she has kindly uh, offered all of our subscribers a 15% um, percent discount until the end of July from her shop. Um, she made these cute little um, mugs <laughs> with our names on them. They're just so cute. They're very cute. Mm -hmm. So you can go in there and, uh, you know, ha pick the, between the three different colors and then um, have your name put on them as well. But they're so cute. <laughs> yeah, so Thank her you. name's Kelly and, uh, yeah, her stuff is really cute. Mm -hmm. It's definitely worth um, going to check out her shop. She's also offered, on top of the discount, is she has offered a giveaway as well for yep. our one of our knit alongs. So in our shawl knit along, one of the prizes will be the giveaway, which is uh, a digital copy of that, the graph paper that looks like knit stitches. Um, so once we draw for that, we'll have the winner get in touch with her to get their notepad paper with the, the graph stitches on yeah. it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's very nice. Thank you so much, Kelly. Thank you. Yeah, yeah it was great. Thank you. I'm excited to try my graph paper. Me too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, so I think that's everything for knit alongs. And, yeah. Um, so shall we talk about what we're wearing? Absolutely. All right. You start. <laughs> Me. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, so I am wearing um, the ranunculus, and it's hot off the needles. <laughs> I finished it last night. Um, I love this sweater so much. <clears throat> I wore my other one that I made before on um, the last episode. And I, it just inspired me to make another one, just wearing that one. So um, I did this one uh, a little bit differently in the sense that I used, in, the other one I used um, Brooklyn Tweed Loft. Right. Um, and I didn't hold it with anything else. I just knit it that way. Um, this one I used um, Merino, Superwash Merino and Mohair held together. Um, the yarn that I used was is uh, Hello Stella, and it's her superwash fingering. I can't remember the name of the color though. I can't. 
can't think of it. No, I don't remember. And then I held it together with uh, Knitting for Olive Mohair. And it's like a soft purpley color. Um, so this sweater is super quick. I knit it on uh, six millimeter needles. I'm not sure what that is in the US. I know, I can't remember. Um, it's a top-down construction. It has a little bit of lace work on the top and then it's very customizable. I think in the pattern it said to knit eight inches when you separate for the sleeve. Or no, not eight inches. It's like 13 centimeters or something. Like yeah, maybe it's in two, two inches, two and a half inches. But I actually did eight inches inches because I wanted it a bit longer. Um, it only comes in one size too, so it'll fit everybody a little bit differently. Yeah. <clears throat> but I really like the length. It's it's really nice. And then I did the twisted um, rib for the um, the sleeve cuffs, the collar, and the band at the bottom, which is my favorite. Yeah. <laughs> I love the look of it. I do too. Yeah. Is it in the pattern to do t twisted rib? I think they add. Right? I think they added it into it. I don't oh, think okay. it was there originally, but mm -hmm. it is there now that no, you can do. It's now an option. Yeah. Because you know? I think I did mine in twisted rib too, so it must have been. Yeah. Yeah. It's gorgeous, Patty. So I casted this on on Monday, and today's Friday. So it took me. Well, I finished it yesterday. It took me four days to knit. That's how quickly it knits up. Yeah, it's I. It's magical. Yeah, I said it's uh, probably my favorite sweater bag. It, it's like right. almost it knit itself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and once you get past the the lace work, mm -hmm. which isn't very much. I mean, it looks like there's a lot, but because you're using such a large needle, it's actually not that much, really. Yeah. And then it it was just mindless knitting. It was super quick. It's a cool stitch pattern in the lace too. It's different. Uh, uh, I remember um, that's the first time I've ever knit something like that. Mm -hmm. The technique, mm -hmm. but yeah, yeah, it's really nice. It's really pretty. Yeah. Yeah. So that's my FO. Yay! <laughs> Love it. Yeah. What about you, Carrie? I am not wearing anything. <laughs> <laughs> too warm. Yeah. Yes. I need to put a knit on, but <laughs> yeah. I have lots to show after. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Jim. Um, so I'm wearing my, um, what's it called? Paulina's Big Sister. Paulina's Big Sister. Thank you, Carrie. Yeah, <laughs> so okay. it's from, uh, the pattern written by UNIT. Um, it's, I'm just trying to think. So they, so UNIT actually gifted us each uh, a sweater set. And this is uh, what they chose for me. I picked the pattern and they chose the yarn. And um, I really love it. It's really um, Yeah, it's a super nice sweater. It fits perfectly. I didn't make any adjustments. Um, it has this nice lace detail at the bottom. You can probably it's see it so better nice. against my pants. And it has the same little lace detail on the cuff of the sleeves. I really like the raglan detail. Yeah, me too. It's very, very nice. It's the first time I've seen it in person because the last time you wore it, oh, yeah. we were on Zoom. Right. So we were on Zoom. see that yeah. raglan detail. It's yeah, really it's, nice. it's really pretty. It's very subtle, but... Um, it's a wider raglan here. It's very elegant looking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I love it. I, I think I will definitely need another one. Um, the pattern calls for, or it has two different variations for sleeves. So this is the short sleeve version and it has a bracelet sleeve version, which I probably would do that next time. Um, I just wanted to get this finished and wear it. <laughs> so, it's and it's beautiful. good for summer. Yeah. And the wool that I used is um, knitting for Olive. It was their fingering weight, um, non superwash wool, and paired with the Knitting for Olive mohair silk. So both of which you can pr purchase at Unit, and um, which is where it came from. They have an online, they have a physical store in the Toronto area, but they also have an online store. And um, yeah, I love it. That's <laughs> the same uh, brand of mohair that I used in this sweater. Mm. It's a nice mohair. It's really nice. Yeah, and it's affordable. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, it's quite nice. It is. Yeah, I think I would definitely order it yeah. um, again. So Unit is a, mm -hmm. as it's a really nice store. They have, um, they don't just have knitting stuff. They have all crafting stuff. So you can get needlepoint there and sewing stuff as well. Um, but what's nice is they offer a lot of kits. So you can look at their patterns 
Um, I think most of their knitting patterns that they offer is actually in-house. So mm -hmm. they design their own patterns as well and then offer these kits. And their patterns are amazing. They're beautiful. Mm -hmm. So I re highly recommend you check out UNET. <laughs> yeah, and on Instagram too is a good way to follow them because they do um, oftentimes rotate through all of their patterns and offer them for free for a little bit yeah. so on Instagram they'll post and let you know like which patterns free right now yeah. and every pattern is is really they're pretty. they're spectacular yeah I think uh, it's Claudia Q who usually designs the patterns and she's amazing yeah yeah very nice it was very well written and I enjoyed it and it didn't take me very long to make this either like maybe a week and a half or something it's not it's the um, the gauge is smaller than the ranunculus but um, I would definitely recommend it mm -hmm. I wear this awesome. often it's really nice. love it and it's interesting I know we mentioned this last time but we're sitting out here it's a hot day and I'm not hot in this sweater mm -hmm. I don't I don't understand it but yeah. <laughs> I think it's because wool is so breathable, breathable. yeah yeah so which mm -hmm. is nice yeah all right, um, so shall we work, move on to finished objects? Mm -hmm. Sure. Okay. Okay. Do you want to go, Carrie? Uh, sure. So I have finished a test knit that we're all working on, which we is a new ours. shawl that's coming up um, from Molly, uh, from Molly Klein Designs. Um, to be named still. I don't think she's decided on a name yet. Oh, okay. And it should be getting released soon. So pretty. That's pretty. Um, so I'll pass it up to you ladies. Yeah. Oh, the color is different than I thought. Yeah, it I, did, I thought it was gray, yeah. actually. I didn't know it was. It's sage is the color. Okay. Very, that's beautiful. <laughs> so it's a DK weight pattern, and I just wow. used pulsed yarn and held fingering weight double to get the gauge on it. That's so pretty. It's lovely. I love this wool scarf. Yeah. yeah. It's if you guys could just feel this, like it's it's wooly, but it's draping too, yeah, it's and it's light, soft and light. It's really nice. That's gorgeous. Yeah. Very pretty. Mm -hmm. So she hasn't released the pattern yet. No. Um, but we're all testing for her. And oh, I guess I I'm still trying to figure out how to wear it. Yeah. But keep going. <laughs> It looks nice. Yeah. It looks cozy. Yeah, it's definitely a cozy one. Yeah, yeah. it's pretty. Yeah. Um, so I'm not quite done, but I am getting there. Um, so this is mine so far. Nice. It's so pretty too. That color, Patty, is gorgeous. Isn't what that yarn pretty? is that? This is um, Jelaine. Oh, okay. And uh, the color way is called Pour Some Sugar. <laughs> um, she her yarn is absolutely beautiful. She's from Quebec. Um, there's her tag, and I just love it. It's like it. so soft and it squishy. Like yeah, it does. It's mm -hmm. just beautiful. Um, the composition it's pure DK. It says so. It's DK weight, untreated, sustainable, 100% uh, extra fine merino. Oh wow. That's and it's it just so soft. it's just gorgeous. That is. It's got a nice plumpness to mm -hmm. it as well. Um, so it's not super wash. No, it's not. But it's so soft, like it's amazing yarn. Yeah. And uh, and I really really am enjoying this shawl pattern. It's pretty. I just really think the lace detail is just beautiful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Really mm -hmm. nice. It's very elegant. Yeah. 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 Um, so for mine, I had chosen yarn for it um, when I at the beginning, but then the yarn it turns out I didn't have enough yardage, so I I um, dug in my stash and I found some Briggs and Little. I need to block it, but oh, um, that's cute. Oh, so cute. Isn't Isn't that cute? That's really cute. Yeah, I like it. It's curling a bit because I have to block it. Yeah, um, and I still have a ways to go. But I really like this yarn it's too. Sheepy. It's sheepy, isn't it? I know. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Smells good. <laughs> That's really nice. Yeah. I like the stripes. I do too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I had to add stripes um, 
to because I didn't have enough of any you know of one color so I thought it would um yeah it's cute though. a good it's option yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. That's so like adorable. there's always options if you don't have enough yarn in one color you can always add striping and use scraps and mm -hmm. do stuff like that um so Briggs and Little is um it's from a mill in um East New Coast. Brunswick yeah Yes, the East Coast, um, New Brunswick, Canada, and it's so affordable. It is, and it's great. Well, I've knit um, quite a few things now with Briggs and Little. It's very it's, durable, it's right? It's super durable. Yeah. It it keeps its shape. Um, it makes it's great wool for sweaters because Be really warm. It yeah, it's so durable. You don't. It it definitely holds its shape, and um, it's very warm. So that's a benefit of this because I plan on wearing this more in the winter mm -hmm. and uh, yeah. a more like a, like a snuggly cowl. Yeah. I really like it. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's going to be like, yeah, like that, that looks nice. Very nice. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited to get it finished. So we'll talk Me more too. about it again mm -hmm. when she releases the pattern. For and sure. Like, yes. You know, uh, when it's getting released and the name of the pattern and stuff. And the details, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's really nice. Mm -hmm. It is gorgeous nice. design. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Nice. All right. Do you have an FO, Jan? Mm -hmm. Um, I. The only FO I have is we all have the same FO. This one? Nope. No. Oh yeah, that one too. Yeah. Okay, we could talk about that one. Kira, so, did you bring your? I showed it last time, yeah. so I didn't bring it. Okay. So we'll just. So last quick. we. Um, have all been knitting the um, Breathe and Hope by Casapinka. Carrie showed hers on the last episode because she finished before we did, but June and I got ours done. They actually they go match. together. <laughs> they do. <laughs> they do. That's yeah. funny. <laughs> they're both We're, so they're bright They're just and opposite. Cheery. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah. So here is our finished Breathe and Hope, and I love it. I think it's really cool. Yeah, I like it too. It's very interesting. It was fun to knit. Mm -hmm. It was engaging. Um, it's got a curly tail. <laughs> did, yours, did yours have a curly tail Not too? Not as curly as yours, but it did curl a bit. Yeah. Yeah, mine's really curly. I like it like yeah, that. Yeah, I really though. like it. It reminds me of Dr. Seuss for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> pretty. Yeah, great. it's super Colors pretty. Awesome. Um, so the yarn that I used for mine is Cat Sandwich Fibers, and I think I have the tag in here, yeah. and I love her tag, I think it's mm -hmm. super cute. That's pretty. Um, and the colors I used are, uh, the pink is Pinky Kinky, and then it's hard to tell, but it's actually, the color has like a mint green, like a very pale mint green. Uh, base to it with speckles and it's called ice cream cone cupcakes it totally looks like sprinkles on top it of does that. doesn't it yeah a cupcake or something yeah yeah cute and I really like um, at, when you bind off she calls it the naughty stitch <laughs> yeah so there's like these they're like baubles I guess it's almost yeah. like a pico bind off but with little baubles with bobbles, I yeah. yeah yeah it's really it's cute though yeah it is cute Mine, yeah. um, my yarn I use, it's single ply, so it's much um, thinner, and my baubles, because of that, are much smaller. Um, but this is Hedgehog Fibers, um, super skinny. And the green is Fly, the colorway, and the the pinky, purpley one is Iris. It's really and, pretty. Uh, yeah, their colors are really pretty, very vibrant, and um, I had a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. It, it was doesn't go at all like with what I'm wearing, but I think like with a white t-shirt and a pair of jeans or something. Oh, oh it'll could, look really cute. Yeah. Or under a jean jacket. Even. Under a jean jacket. Yeah, yeah. that'll look cute. Yeah. Passive pink patterns mm -hmm. are like right up our alley because yeah. she always sections them off and we like to knit in sections. So yeah. we like to do that so we can knit on other things, but yeah. then we all end up knitting the same thing as well, which we really like doing together. Yeah. The last <laughs> Casa Pinka we did, the Goldfish Memories, it also was in sections. sections mm -hmm. So yeah. we did that together too. Yeah, she has fun patterns. Yeah. And yeah. she she's hysterical. <laughs> Follow her on Instagram if, you, or if you're not. Yeah, she's, she's pretty she's so funny. funny. <laughs> yeah. She's very entertaining. Yeah, I like her pat. I, really enjoy her patterns. They keep you engaged. It's so nice. Mm -hmm. Love it. <laughs>
Um, I have one more. I have a lot of shawls <laughs> to show. So, um, I've shown this on, um, the last podcast and this is the Livy that I was working on by Tammy so Gore. I love it. And it's off the needles now. I think it's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. The um, blue cut, they're, the yarns that I use are both Leo and Roxy and they're fingering um, weight sock yarn. Um, the blue is like a, it's like a navy blue. I, I don't have the ball band. And then the colorful skein is from um, their sock cup. Uh, club when I I did um, I was getting their sock club whatever you call it sock, sock of the, the month, month sock of the month <laughs> club thank you for a few months and this was one of the colorways and so it's called May 2019 <laughs> but it's so pretty I think they should make that color again I really want them to yeah. make this color again hint and, hint because <laughs> I think it's stunning it's so nice mm -hmm. and um, the pattern um, was really nice to knit it's very relaxing um, I like the shape of it it's um, kind of like an asymmetrical shape, and then you have some yarn overs in there as well, and then the striped <laughs> sections. But it's really nice. Yeah, it was a fun knit. I, it I knit mine. Turned out quite large, actually. Yeah, yours is bigger than mine. But again, I use single ply for mine. Yeah. So. Oh right. I think that's just something to keep in mind with single ply. It's not as plump, and, yeah. and it's soft. But mm -hmm. this is super plump. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so there's my Livy. It looks great. So pretty. Yeah. I would knit the shawl again. Oh, me too. Yeah. Just to have something easy to knit on the needles. Yeah. It's, I'm in it's my awesome. head right now going through my stash to see, <laughs> see if I have something that I could You should use totally for it. make one. You'd love it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I like that it's two, it's not even two full skeins. Like, did you have like no. a quarter, at least a quarter um, skein left of each one? I, I did. I brought them. So my variegated oh, color, left. I oh, had a lot left okay. of. But not as and much. then the navy color, I had a little bit less. Mm -hmm. But uh, maybe I had more yardage on mine. Maybe, yeah. Anyways, super nice yarn, too. Love it. Nice. Yeah. Do you have another FO? Just the one that we all have. Okay. Right? Yep. So. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I have written my very first pattern, which is going to be officially published, um, hopefully the beginning of August, maybe a little bit sooner, depending on how my testers go, because I have, um, several people out testing it right now. And, uh, thank you so much for doing that for me. It's amazing. I, I love seeing what you're coming up with. Um, and your shawls all look beautiful. But anyways, it's just shawl. Um, and it's a triangle shawl. I'm calling this shawl um, Choose Love, the Choose Love shawl. And it's, uh, it's a pretty relaxing knit. I love it. Mm. It's yeah. an amazing pattern. Yeah. Um, it's triangular shape. It has a single stitch down the spine and then um, uh, it also has the yarn overs, which you can mm -hmm. see. And then this section, which is also this section down mm -hmm. here, has pearl ridges and slip stitches. Slip stitch. Yeah, it's gorgeous. So um, I'm going to put this out as an adventurous beginner shawl. Um, my testers all say that it's very relaxing. They haven't had too many problems with it. Um, so I think that's pretty fair to say. That, yes. Sure. Mm -hmm. um, this is definitely something if you're looking to expand your knitting a little bit. Yeah. Also, it's, it's a good shawl for more experienced knitters because you find it relaxing, but mm -hmm. not boring, I would say. No. Yeah. Yeah. And then I added uh, Le Pont or tassels to the end mm -hmm. which I think is really cute, cute. <laughs> yeah it was the it was a kind of it was a pattern that none of us could put down like that's, yeah. uh, that's all yeah. you knit for 
like until same here. Like I'd finish it, and Patty's like, "Okay, yeah. I'm getting you the next section." Yeah, I, I wasn't. <laughs> yeah. She'd finish it before I even had the yeah. next si section written yet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but I find that my testers are saying the same thing that they're they're having well, one a of your lot testers of testers. Just started a second one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and another Spain. one emailed me today, and she's already finished it. Wow. Yeah. So, um, so yeah. Uh, the colors that I use, the darker purple color is uh, Zen Garden, and then the other two colors are from Fig and Posy. Um, beautiful yarn. They're they're all uh, superwash merino. Um, yeah, so I'm really excited to release this. Yeah. Um, and June and Carrie also knit it. Oh my gosh, which is I so love exciting! It so much. <laughs> <laughs> I just love this. So here's mine. I think it's so pretty. It's so pretty. Um, the yarn that I used um, is Leo and Roxy. either 100% um, Superwash Merino DK. The the two grays, the gray at the uh, top and bottom, and it is so soft. It's so plump. Oh, I love it. It's beautiful. beautiful. And then the middle color, which I think that they it just really pops with the two grays. Um, this is from Neighborhood Fiber Co. And I think it's called, I can't remember the name of it. It's in my Ravelry page. <laughs> but um, I want to order more so of that, nice. uh, this pink as well. But I love it. And it's I did beautiful. the tassels too. And um, so pretty. Yeah. Thank you. And then mine, Woo! I didn't do tassels. So you show the options of tassel or no tassel. Yep. Oh my gosh. It's um, so pretty. I used Kelborn Woolens, their DK uh, weight. Top color is charcoal heather, the middle is teal heather, and then the bottom I think is just gray heather. So color. pretty. Yeah. And I love it. It's gorgeous. You guys did an amazing job. I'm wear, I wear it, it every beautiful. day while I'm working now. <laughs> uh, it's cool with the air conditioning. So. Yeah. It's so nice. It's a good size for that. I love the feel of this yarn. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, I would like to make a sweater with that charcoal heather. Yeah. That's oh, pretty. that would be really nice. I'm going to buy some of that. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah, so great job, Patty. Mm -hmm. This is thank you. So, so fun um, and amazing. The yarn, the um, all the yarns that we used are all in DK weight. It's a DK weight sweater, but you could use a light fingering as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or sport weight. Um, I love it. So I'm gonna I'm not gonna say too much really about it until we release the pattern. It's gonna be released as a Forest City Knit Girl pattern. And um, the only thing that I'm going to say is I was inspired um, by stuff that's going on in the world right now. And when this goes on sale, all the proceeds are is going to go to charity. We're going to donate it all. Yeah, so. That's so nice. Yeah. So, but we'll give you more details. Um, on release day. On release day, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> so get your three skeins of, of DK. DK and, and, yeah. <laughs> I guess you could also use fingering held double. Right? You could. Yeah, you, yep, you could. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. As long as it's, you know, with shawls, your gauge doesn't have to be perfect, but yeah, you just no. have to keep in mind your yardage. That's mm -hmm. all. Yeah, for sure. But yeah, I think I'm really excited. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. I wore mine camping on the weekend. Does it smell like campfire? campfire? A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> you owe know me a beer. <laughs> and I have a hair on my face and I can't find it, so <laughs> it's there somewhere. Uh, yeah, so I think um, that's the end of is of our FOs. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I don't have any more. Um, I have one more thing to show. It's not an FO, it's a half object, a hoe. And I made this. <laughs> so cute. They're so so cute. cute. I'm gonna hold it up. You guys have to see these colors. I know, it's beautiful. Yeah. So um, I did not use a pattern. I just used a vanilla, um, just a vanilla sock cast on 64 stitches. Um, and then for the heel, I did a square heel. I like that a lot. This, I find it a nice fit. Um, and then the yarn that I used, actually, um, June bought it and 
she gave half of it to me. <laughs> so she's going to have a pair like this eventually so too. Um, but this is from Timber Yarns and it's called Over the Rainbow. It's so cute. Yeah. And then the heel is a Lee Wynn Roxy, just a little bit left over from an, a previous project. The heel goes perfectly. Went, yeah, I thought it went really good. Mm -hmm. I love the little orange toes. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to hopefully cast the the second one on soon. It's <laughs> great. So that is the end of FOs? Yep, and FOs. FOs and hoes. Hoes and foes. <laughs> Um, so what do you guys want to talk about next? You want to show some of the things we've been buying? Or whips? Or whips. whips. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So who has a whip? I guess, uh, well, I'm not going to show any whips because I showed them in, my, in the last episode and I haven't made progress. Like I finished my, like, you know, I've been knitting, but yeah. the things I, I showed last episode, one. I didn't make progress. Do you have a whip? Too. Why don't you show yeah. your whip? Mm -hmm. Um, so I haven't shown this since I showed the wool a while ago, two um, months ago, yes, but I'm doing a test knit as well right now, um, for Anna, who is along Avec Anna on Instagram at Avalby. Oh she is my beautiful Gosh, patterns. that's pretty. So, so nice. it is a sport weight, top down construction, Ooh. all over body color work sweater. I'm using the white is the Kelborn Woolens. Sport weight, and then the color work is spin cycle. That is so it's pretty, stunning. I so love it. I, yeah. I'm actually just want to knit that. Binding <laughs> off the ribbing at the bottom now, and I'll be flying over to Sleeve Island this weekend to get the <laughs> sleeves done. Nice. So, um, but that yeah, I'll beautiful. show it as an FO once it's done, and she's releasing the pattern probably in the fall. Okay. Um, so I'll talk more about it, but this is what I've been mainly working on. Oh, that's going to look so nice. That is gorgeous. I love it. Yeah. I love it Is too. it going to be long sleeve? Yeah. Nice. nice. Yep. Yes. It feels Beautiful. good too. That's the Calborn Scout. Oh, Scout. Is that the same that uh, you did? Is it Scout? Or is Scout the DK? Oh. Scout's the DK. Oh, okay. This is Andorra. Oh, okay. Oh. Andorra is their sport weight. Mm. Oh, okay. I have to oh, order yeah. some. That's what my focus has been. It's amazing. Yeah. Nice test to sign up for. I know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's the only whip I have. Awesome. Do you I have just, any? I have one. <clears throat> oh, I can't remember the name of this, so maybe I'll look it up real oh, quickly. Oh, this is the Heidi Karen oh, Myron, right? right? Yeah. So this is... Um, made some good progress a little bit yeah so I think the last time I showed it I hadn't set, um, joined the sleeves yet um, so this is how far I've gotten so now that um, I should actually look up the pattern I'm pulling it up right now okay um, Carrie will tell you what the pattern is in a sec so now that I've gotten to um, having the sleeves attached uh, what I do is because the body is all done in like the pearl stitch, mm -hmm. so I flip it inside out to knit. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, That's neat. Yeah, and then it's got a neat detailing. It's got the pearls in between, and then the shoulders are knit stitch. So it's it's a very was a very interesting construction. I really enjoy doing it. Um, I haven't had a lot of time to work on it, uh, but I do, I have been, I really like it. That's cute. Um, the yarns that I'm using are the whole garn. Oh, you're holding, um, alpaca with? I am. So I'm oh. holding, um, the whole garn tides in the colorway seagull. So, and that's tides is the cotton. The wool cotton, right? Yes, the wool cotton, and then um, the whole scarn, the alpa pure alpaca, mm -hmm. and it's in uh, slate gray. The colors over the top tee, right? Over the top mm -hmm. tee by Heidi Kumire. Pretty. Yeah, it's really nice. Mm -hmm. I I really enjoy her patterns. This is only the second pattern that I've knit from her because I also did the avalanche, yes. mm -hmm. um, but they're very well written and they're interesting. Yeah, yeah. 
So yeah, so hopefully I get some more time to work on that because I do love it. It's nice and light too. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah, Very so that's good. my only whip. I like the bag that it's in too. Oh yeah, this is um, from J. Henry Designs. Super cute. Yeah. It's got a nice drawstring on it and a little handle. I love the handle. Yeah. Yeah, it's really nice. Bag. Pretty. Yeah. That's it, I think, right, Jimmy? That was my only whip. Yeah. All right. So I okay. think that's whips. Um, now do you want to show some acquisitions? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Do you want to go first? Sure. <laughs> I'll show this. Okay. Um, so I'll show mine too. Yeah. So we decided, um, all three of us um, decided to um, try some yarns from um, Canadian um, mills, mills um, just to try them out. Um, so we, Patty and I ordered from one, Carrie ordered from another, and uh, we got, we all got ours recently. Um, of course, I, I have knit with Briggs and Little, often, right, which is Canadian yeah. mill, but we wanted to try some new stuff. So. Patty and I both got this wool. It's from Custom Woolen Mills. Um, it's in Alberta. Ooh, it looks like that. And yeah, that's so nice. Yeah. And this one is, there's something special about it. Oh yeah, it's a mule, mule spinner yarns. It's and really, really nice. It's so nice. It's got a really high twist on it. So I think it's gonna make great stitch definitions. It's beautiful. Um, it's soft. I love it. Feels I a little bit cotton. I can't wait. To yeah. With it. So anyway, um, so the color that I got, it's like a um, what do you call that? Marled. Almost like a marled gray, light gray. Um, but this was one of the the um, natural sheep colors mm -hmm. that they offered, and I really, really love it's it. It's a pretty shade of gray. I like that there's little speckles in there mm -hmm. as well, and I just think it's beautiful. Yeah. So I'm really excited to cast that on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's going to be nice. And I just, I got the navy blue. Um, you can't really see it on camera, but very subtly, there's a little bit of purple and stuff in there. You can it's see it, a, like a, a, a glow of purple, maybe. Yeah. Unless that's my sweater. <laughs> it's pretty. It is pretty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'm definitely going to be making um, a sweater with this. I have one already in mind. Um, and I think this is going to be very warm. Uh -huh. It feels very substantial. So excited. Yes, me too. <laughs> yeah. And then I'll pass you these okay. up. So um, this is from the Mariposa Woolen Mill up in the Coorthas. Yeah. Um, I just ordered a couple skeins of each for like mitts or toques. I don't really have anything so in mind, but tag. I definitely know it'll be toques or mitts. Um, so I got two blue, two green, and then two of the one that June's holding, which Patty had a good point. It's like marigold. Yeah, it looks like marigold. Mm -hmm. It's so pretty. It's beautiful. Yeah, and this has um, an interesting twist to it, doesn't yeah. it? That's super cool. What does it's it almost say? a little slubby. Yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah. I like love a, it. Like a hand spun quality or it something. It does, yeah. It's yeah. beautiful. And this one is Rambouillet. Okay. Nice. Yeah, that's so nice. Mm hmm. Oh, and this one is part of a Heritage Livestock Conservation Project. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah there you go. Cool. <laughs> I just like the color. <laughs> That's very nice. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you're going to have to order some of that, too. Mm -hmm. So, anyway. Reasonable price, too. Yeah. Um, for the mill. Ours was as well. Yes, yeah. 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 very reasonable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, we like to knit with all different fibers and all. We, we like the super wash. We like the um, acrylic. We like the, the rustic rustic yarns. wool. We yeah, like sure. we like it all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they all have their benefits and pros yeah. and cons. Yeah. Yeah. Um, do you have more acquisitions? So um, I have one more to show. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, so we've talked about them before because we love them so much. So <laughs> Jessica and Allison of Full Moon Fibers. And they have the Full Moon Fibers podcast. Jessica's also the creator of J. Hendry Design Co., the project bags we most often use um, in our stash. They're, so they're I was one watching one of their latest podcasts, and she had just done these splatter paint bags. So cute. So I had to order a little yarn bowl. <laughs> 
splatter paint. It just so you can. Like, it's like that a childhood memory. Yeah. Mm-hmm. With the neons and stuff yeah. that I needed to. Yeah. You can also in use art class it. when you're. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that is it's so adorable. So cute. So, That'd be fun to make these. Too. And then also, um, they collaborated with um, a designer, Kelly McClure, oh, who's Boho Knits. Um, so she often collaborates with Ontario yarn dyers or local or more local Canadian yarn dyers to come up with a, a pattern and then the yarn to go with it. So they recently did the Fog Eater hat um, that she's designed. And the pattern, first of all, is only a dollar. Oh wow! Uh, Ravelry, mm-hmm. and a hundred percent of the pattern proceeds are going to Black Lives Matter, mm-hmm. um, which is amazing. That's and awesome. then Jessica and Allison have created kits um, that you can pick. So it's um, like mohair and finger and help together, mm-hmm. um, and twenty percent of their proceeds are going to be going to Black Lives Matter for any of the kits in their shop wow. for the Fog Eater hat. They're so, mohair. No, this is cereal alpaca. Is it alpaca? Oh yeah. my gosh, it's soft. Yeah, it's Surrey alpaca. Those colors. Anyway, so I thought, why the heck not have a really bright, fun colored hat? That's that amazing. I, mm-hmm. I love so. it. I'm going to so go check out the kids. <laughs> Too hey. beautiful. This one's called Hot as, Hot as It Gets. And this one is High Vis. Pretty. And it goes to a good cause, so yeah, you can't amazing. go wrong. So I, I think um, the hat pattern proceeds every quarter. She donates all the proceeds from that hat sale. And then I think Jessica and Allison said once a month until they run out of kits. Mm-hmm. I don't know how long they'll set up the kits, but That's they awesome. will take 20% of those proceeds and submit it to Black Lives Matter too. Nice. Yes. Yeah. Nice. I ordered a couple skeins of their yarn a couple months ago, and I can't wait to cast it off. I really think they're color geniuses. <laughs> mm, <laughs> like beautiful. They're, they have unique colors, and the way they put them together is so beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Nice. So, and it matches this sweater. It does. Yeah. That's so cute. That's awesome. <laughs> That's all for me. <laughs> Nice. Do you have something, Jill? Um, I'm trying to remember. So I did. I ordered something from Songbird Fibers. Oh, great! And um, so, but they were both to kind of go with things that I already had. But I just want to show because they're really nice. And yeah. uh, and her Songbird Fibers is a local dyer, and she dyes um, all of her yarn is dyed um, the same color as a bird for inspiration. So it's really fun, and. Um, I forget how much, uh, a certain percentage of the proceeds go to the, um, like a bird wild, yeah, co- a bird conservation fund. And I'm sorry, I'm probably, I'm getting this wrong, but, um, so it goes to a good cause as well. And I just think her colors are, I don't know, it's just fun. So that one is Anna's hummingbird. And I actually, ha- I bought that to go with my lava lake. I had picked out yarn and, um, for my stash. And I really think that this goes better. Um, so I'm excited. Really yeah, nice. yeah. And I, it, they came with little pins. Um, thanks. And then this yarn is the American Flamingo, which I fell in love with when she first released this last year. And I bought one skein um, at a at a festival last yep. year, but um, I bought another one because <laughs> I thought two skeins. So I'm thinking about doing maybe a love note or ranunculus oh, or something. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna order some mohair, like maybe gray mohair to go with them. Pretty. I don't know. Anyway, um, I just think it's very unique and uh, very pretty. Very So pretty. pretty. Yeah. Love it. I thought you'd knit with yours no. already. Did you get it mm-hmm. in it with it? I have some in my stash, but I have not knit with it yet. But now that I see it again, I want to pull it out. (laughs) Right, you got this too. I got that one, and I have Anna's hummingbird Hummingbird. as well. I have both of those. Yeah, Yeah. and you got the really pretty. I got the blue blue jay and the red wing blackbird. Oh, nice, nice. Very unique. Yeah, it's fun. Beautiful. Very, very beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Cool. (laughs) Do you have anything, Carrie? Nope. Um, I have a couple of things, and I know this is going to seem a little extravagant, but um, I showed the, what is it called, Lava Lake, Mm -hmm. by Stephen West um, to my friend Sarah, and so 
she loved it. And then, so I went on Northbound Knitting um, website because I know that she sells five, five skein sets. And this is the set. So I'm knitting this for my friend. And this is the set that she chose. That's so nice. pretty. That's so pretty. That's it's perfect for pretty. that shawl. Uh -huh. Like with the, yeah. this in the middle maybe? I don't know what no, you're No, this one in the middle, I think. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. Nice. So I'm going to start with this. This will be on the tips, mm -hmm. and then this one will be down the middle, and then work the way back. Yeah, work the way back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm shedding. So, anyways, I'm really excited um, to make this for her. And um, she's a sewist, so she is going to make me a hoodie, <laughs> which nice. I'm so excited about. That's a good trade. So I'm going to knit on. her this, <laughs> the, the Lava uh, Lake Shawl by Stephen West, and I get a yeah. hoodie out of it that nice. she's made. Nice. I know. She's a very talented sewist. She's very like good. Her, she's yeah. very fashionable when she yeah. makes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So anyways, that's exciting. I, nice. I'm really excited to cast that on. Pretty. Yeah. So I think that's it for me. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Nice. Did you guys want to talk about what we want to plan on casting on? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So we planned this a long time ago and things come up and, and something might come up again. <laughs> but we're but gonna we're try. Hoping. We're hoping to cast these yeah. on together. Because as you guys know, we like to knit things together. Yeah. Um, it's just our thing. So <laughs> <laughs> this time we picked slightly different projects, but yeah. we still want to do it together. So yeah. Uh, we, we encourage each other. We do. And, you know, yeah. enable each other. Yes, <laughs> that's right. It is so true. <laughs> so it's fun. Yeah. But anyway, um, so Patty and I are going to be knitting the Step Aside. Step Aside by Jennifer Beal. That's right. Yes. And it's such an interesting pattern. Yeah. Maybe we can put a picture. And um, so we're both using Briggs and Little. Um, it's. To me, the sweater seems very outdoorsy, like a perfect camping sweater. It's got color work in it, it has steaking, it has a po pockets kind of on both sides. Yeah, so, like the pocket comes uh -huh. from like one side here and it goes all the way back to here. Yeah. Like it covers your whole side. It's like a kangaroo pouch on the side. Kind of, yeah. on both sides. Yeah, it's really It's neat. a very interesting construction. It so is. I'm really excited to knit it because it's gonna be something different. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, June and I, did you mention that we both got Briggs and Little? Yarn? I think, so. yeah. Okay. And um, so, this is going to be my main color. It's just like a nice dark charcoal gray. Pretty. And then, this is going to be for the color work, which is called Rose. So, I'm going to put those together. So pretty. Yeah. And mine is. I don't. Oh, yeah, this is Blue Heather. So, that's going to be my main color. And then I think this is just sheep gray. I don't think it's, yeah, sheep gray. Nice. So it's a little bit of a bulkier yarn from Briggs and Little. It's their heritage, which is more of an Aran weight. Is it? Oh, yeah. Okay. But anyway, it's excited nice. to cast that on. Yeah. Me too. Mm -hmm. I can't wait. And then when they cast that on, I'm going to cast on the Pebbles tunic by Hopi Locatelli. And then I'm using um, the Aaron Moore Light. Oh, so more. nice. Oh, so and this color is called River Esque. Love it. It's beautiful. Can I hold that close enough? There we go. And it's just a top down longer sweater with pockets in it as well. It's very nice. It's, yeah. Oh, it'll match your shawl. Yes, it will. <laughs> it'll be perfect. perfect. I'll be nice and cozy in the fall of winter. <laughs> so the goal awesome. is we're going to cast these on as soon as I finish my test knit. So right. that's why this weekend is Sleeve Island, yes. so that I can get it done and we can get going on. So we can cast on a sweater. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it'll be fun. Oh, it matches your fun. bag, too. Listen. <laughs> I knew it all along. Hey. You did. <laughs> post show, net, show notes on Ravelry with everything that we talked about and if you're interested in exploring more you can just hop on into our uh, Forest City Knit Girls group on Ravelry and the show notes will be there for episode 30. Nice! Yeah. So keep posting your pet photos, we love those. Um, and we'll be drawing again soon. Yeah. 
The end of July we'll draw another uh, for another free pattern. So get your pet photos in there. We love seeing them anyways. It's I think our favorite thread. I love it. <laughs> I, know, I know it's so cute. Yeah. Sorry about the traffic. We've got some motorcycles going by. <laughs> Sorry. We have lots of money to hit. <laughs> yeah. So I hope everybody has a safe summer and um, have some time to enjoy the outdoors and while the weather's nice and. Get knit in your shawls, yes. get your FOs into our, our knit along, and we'll, we'll look forward to seeing them. Yeah, thanks everybody. Um, stay safe and healthy, and we'll see you in a couple weeks, and happy knitting. Happy knitting. Bye. Happy Bye. Knitting.